who turn it be to become Nigeria's president for this next election? Now, the Tory I carry come today. My name now A D S. Me, eh, I get coconut head. I know the hear word. Now, why I go continue to remind owner to subscribe to our channel? Oh, yes. Now, premium gist at the always summer owner direct from the oven. I see the hot. So, why you? Eh, you, you, you. You know what? Subscribe to our channel. Wait, see, Apple. Make I clear you the legit now. The last person who is subscribed to our channel be received miracle alert. <laughs> I know they force you to subscribe, oh, but you, 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 you. You know how to receive miracle money? Just subscribe. I am make run am I see the hot. No time. Person go just come out. Talk say another person. No fee become president. Because say him time never reach. <laughs> I beg, who they allocate time, give people, we want contest for election for this country. No single man get this country, oh. For every election, everybody gets one vote, eh, including Mr. President. That now to show, say, nobody, nobody, not even Mr. President, they're more Nigerian than the other Nigerian. These two marketers for APC and PDP, are really terrified about a third force. Oh, yes. Taking over this country. Hmm? They did terrify, say, third force won't take over the country. Both Festus Kiyamu and Dino Melaye, no one agrees, say, a third force eh, is boiling to take over. Kiyamu don't talk, say, the candidate of the rising third force will be Mr. Peter Obi, na carpet bagger. <laughs> Meaning, say, na only for him, please, the Noam. Outside of him, please. Nobody know him. Now, Dino Melaye, come talk, say, Peter Obi, eh, say him time, never reach. <laughs> Before I run this matter in full, it is my singular honor and privilege to inform when I say, Dino Melaye, don't reply face to Keyamo again. Shemi, when I remember, say, after Keyamo been entered, uh, as if he enter a uh, presidential uh, candidate of the PDP, will be Atiku Abubakar. Ah, he enter a mo. <laughs> he enter a where where. I wanna know say Dino Melai, na the mouthpiece. Now the same man, the same guy, eh? He don't enter a rice TV. Make he go see go drag this guy. After Dino say, he go break up into pieces. When John go macho. <laughs> Can you not enter a right CV to continue dragging Atiku Abubakao? This time, eh, him come out say Atiku, na rebellious person. Say him no de lawyer at all. And say, now why him boss? That time will be President Olushengo Obasanjo. Not for one day in their eight years in office, transmit power give him. Not even for one minute. <laughs> and say Atiku, no ever get the privilege. To take a final decision for any matter will concern Nigeria and say him no get the experience and not qualified to become Niger president. Ah, Kiyamu finish him. <laughs> now Dino, don't reply Kiyamu. Now the reply be this: Watch. It is appalling, laughable that for whatever frivolous reasons, an educated Nigerian will come to a national TV and disparage the office of the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That is a, an exalted office. And if he likes it or not, that's the number two po position in this country with enormous responsibilities. So to disparage that office is not disparaging Atiku. Can Nigerians I'm, I'm, trust I'm, I'm, I'm coming, please. the number one office so, so, into the hands so of Atiku Abubakar? That's the question now. Nigerians definitely can trust the number one office to Atiku Abubakar because he has the experience, have the capacity, he knows this country better than any of these countries. Well, has he made final calls number two, on national number two, issues? I'm, I'm coming. Number two, if you see, I watched the interview and I saw where Kayama was talking about Bolatinobu being a hunter of men and uh, resources. Being a good manager of men and resources. And I begin to ask myself, if Tinubu is that a good manager of men and resources, how come he discovered Ambody 
and himself again plotted the removal of Ambody. Now, wow. The thing called choke, uh, I do know. I just didn't get him out. <laughs> the question is very simple now. Was there ever a time power was transmitted to Atiku during his time as vice president? Now, the question would be that. Did he ever get the opportunity to make a final decision on any national issue? Eh? <laughs> My guy, they, they speak plenty English. Now, so you won't take break, eh? Kayam went to pieces when John Gomacho. Oh, dear. <laughs> now, make we enter the reason why are they do this broadcast. Here, waiting, do not you talk about Mr. Pitobi, who is also running for president. Watch. There is the side that i like you to also touch on, which uh, was also mentioned uh, by um, uh, Mr. Fessel Skeyamo. He also said that, in fact, Peter Obi is ahead of your principal. <laughs> that, in fact, that is the most ridiculous uh, thing I've heard in recent times. And it's not only ridiculous, I sympathize with um, Fessel Skeyamo because, um, for me, this is a... Be a palo discussion, and I want to tell you that even in the prison yard, <laughs> there are seniorities. <laughs> there's, there's, no, sorry, there's seniority. Everybody shouting, Peter will be, Peter will be on social media. But let me even tell you, Peter will be is a fantastic Nigerian. I have tremendous respect for him, and I've said it before, he is a fantastic person. But this is not his time. What do you mean by that? What I mean by this is not his time. This is not his time. He doesn't have what it takes now to unify this country. Even before you start talking about the economy, you need peace. You need to build trust. What does it take to among, unify? Among, 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 among what does it take to Nigerians? unify the country that Peter Obi does not have? It, it takes Atiku to unify this country. You are saying that it is not Peter Obi's time. What if the people of Nigeria say it is his time? It, it, all, this, all you see is euphoria. All those shouting, Peter Obi, Peter Obi. What is the followership of Peter Obi on social media? Even those... Making those noise, those imaginary noise. They don't even follow Peter Obi on social media. Go to Twitter, go to Instagram handles of, of Peter Obi. How many people are following him? My brother, we have seen this thing before. Ah, do you know you just miss Yan big time? You know now, you don't miss Yan big time. Your analysis on this matter, eh? Now wash your bag. What do you mean by it's not yet Peter Obi's time? Nigerians want a third force, and you don't decide for Nigerians, eh, whose turn it is. It's funny you think Peter Obi's popularity is just on social media. For your mind, now only social media, they make noise, you understand? Now let me shock you. I will show you how popular the man Obi is outside of his territory. Now say, eh, hey, the only South is enough. I go show you now, this is Nasarawa State, the hometown of the APC National Chairman, Abdullahi Adamu. Watch. <laughs> Again, that one don't shock on Abi. Eh, on a day when they say eh, carpet bagger. Now only for a place in Noah. Now for Nasara will be this. Other videos day, but make I save one at that time. Do you know I've been talking another thing? Eh? We make me laugh like small bikin. Do you know? They ask how many people they follow Peter Obi on Instagram and Twitter with all the noise going about him hmm? on social media. Try, <laughs> see question. <laughs> Dino, you don't F up. I swear to God. Make a show now. Why that question? Eh? You no get head. Sense no day inside. I bet we could check how many people they follow Dino Melai on top Instagram and Twitter. Just follow me. I get where they go. This now Dino Melai your page. Instagram, 2.2 million followers. <laughs> the other one I in uh, this thing for Twitter, how many followers? 3.4 million followers. Only a more. <laughs> now make I check how many people eh they follow Senator Adeyemi Smart for Instagram and Twitter. For Instagram, 14.7k. That's 14,700 people. Now, they follow Sinetto, Smart, Adeyemi, for Instagram. Then, for Twitter, only 4,546 followers, they follow him. Why are you showing this thing? So, with all the followership, where do you know get? Sinetto, Adeyemi, Smart, still pursue him 
come up for Senate. <laughs> Did not even contest for PDP primaries to return to the Senate. Eh? Now, one new guy. The guy never contested for Senate before. He, he is just a newbie. The guy named Natajuddin Yusuf. Eh? He still displaced Dino. Come out for Senate again. <laughs> and Dino still get followership. Pass this guy. The guy is called 163. And Dino score 99 after the run. So now, does Dino Melai have the moral standing to even talk about who go win election and who no go win election? Is they funny, Abby? <laughs> no matter the party, where you did, eh? Just no see our problem don't pass party level. Oh yes. Now individuals with capacity, eh? We suppose they look out for now. People will understand the core issues we face. Intelligent young people with capacity. People that when you hear them talk, when you hear them speak, as in, if you hear it, they come out from their mouth, eh? You can see the passion in them. They want to help. They want to provide solution to Nigeria. I will play you a video of Senator Dati Yusuf, Peter Obi's running mate, eh? Now interview where him been go in 2019, even before Peter Obi thinks say, eh, he will carry him as running mate. Listen carefully to what he said in the video I'm about to play for you. Compare his mindset and level of reasoning with Mr. Peter Obi. Eh? I will allow you to watch this video now and I will, I will get back to you. Watch. I do not have money for money politics. What I have by the special grace of God Almighty is simple logistics to carry me across. And let me put it this way. If I become president of Nigeria by the special of grace of God Almighty, then we yet have another wonderful opportunity to have the Nigeria of our dreams. If I do not become the president, for God's sake, I'm happy. I continue praying for Nigeria wherever I can offer my support, I will. I don't think I will fall down and die because I did not become president. But if I don't become president, I'm sorry for Nigeria. It is a whole lot of opportunities for enhanced security, improved economy, and quality education gone away. Uh -huh. Welcome back. I don't get anything to talk again. Eh? That video is self-explanatory. When they hear me so, vote your conscience. Vote to rescue Nigeria. Vote for the future. When they hear me, I will see you again. Follow us on all our social media channels showing on your screen right now. Until I see you again, my name is ADS. Signing out.